I've come to Strasbourg to ask a question about the European Union. Strasbourg lies just three miles inside France's border with Germany. Street names here are in French and Alsace, which gives a slight German feel to the place. Well, Alsace has been fought over by the two of them for generations. There's a growing Islamic flavour as well. The perfect site for the European Parliament then. But I want to know why the European Parliament building was deliberately constructed as a modernist version of the Tower of Babel in Peter Bruegel's famous painting. Created in 1563, Bruegel's masterpiece shows Nimrod directing operations with the Ziggurat Tower ascending behind him. It's shown in the construction phase, and according to the Bible, it was never completed. Why is that? Well, let's turn to Genesis chapter 11. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Babel means confusion, and the European Parliament was deliberately modelled on it. Why is that? Well, some say that the unfinished nature of the building means unfinished business for the European Union. Former Iron Curtain countries certainly came in after it was completed in 1999. There are now 28 members, but even today, EU ambitions are unabated, holding talks with Albania, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia and Turkey, even agitating inside Ukraine. But I think it's worse than that. Building the Tower of Babel was an act of rebellion against Almighty God. It said man could do it by his own efforts, build a superstate, construct an alternative godless religio-political foundation, reach to some kind of heaven by our own efforts. That is exactly the spirit behind the European Union. And that's why those who built the Parliament building exhibit such nostalgia for the vanity of the Tower of Babel. It leads me to say the United Kingdom should play no part in it. By the way, the infamous Europe Many Tongues One Voice Tower of Babel poster was from the Council of Europe, the guys who run the European Court of Human Rights, also here in Strasbourg, and not from the European Union. But if you say the same spirit is behind both, I shan't argue. The Lord brought confusion and dispersion on those who built the first Tower of Babel. Let us never think the Almighty is not able and willing to do the same to those who have built the second tower. I'm leaving with a strong sense that the EU's elite are inviting the Lord's judgment by their vanity project here in Strasbourg. Indeed, with the continual sense of crisis in the European Union, the judgment may even be falling in our day.